Hi, in this video we're going to show you how we number and perforate. Numbering and perforating is used for items such as invoice, order and docket books, gift vouchers and raffle tickets. So today we're going to take you through the process of numbering and perforating. Okay, before we do any numbering, we take a test print and we've got to make sure that the sheet's nice and square and in the right position. We have to ensure that the printed image is nice and square on the sheet. So to do this, we put it under the guillotine and use the red light against the trim marks. We have two types of numbering boxes, concave which print parallel to the sheet and convex which print vertical to the sheet. By having these two types of numbering boxes, it allows us to position our numbers depending on the direction of the perforation. Using an Allen key, we attach the numbering box to a wheel inside the numbering unit. The number can be moved vertically or horizontally so that we get the number in exactly the right position on the sheet. The next thing we do is we run a sheet through slow and get a print to make sure the number is in the right position. This is a perforating wheel. It's got a sharp edge and when it runs along a metal cylinder, as the sheet goes through, it makes our perforation. Now it's time to take the sheet and test the perforation to make sure it's working. Yeah. Now we set the numbering box to the correct position for the particular job we're printing. Numbering boxes operate backwards. So if a client wants a job that's a thousand sheets and the starting number has to be one, then we have to set the number at 1000. Now we set the cam behind the numbering arm. Whenever a sheet is detected inside the numbering unit, an electronic eye triggers the cam to go forward, pushing the number to the next digit. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you've got a better understanding now of how numbering and perforating works. Don't forget you can check us out at www.simplyprint.net.